what is going on YouTube? Good morning. It is a blessed day out today. We're finally getting a little bit of fall weather and we got a new Imaginarium Theater. So the audio is going to seem really weird because it just split up my previous statement. I realized when I was uploading my first attempt to this video or like just the original uh, edited out video that I had somehow cut out Act 1 which is what you're seeing now. So to go back insert this clip you're hearing right now because of my heinous blunder I could not leave out act one the beginning act so here we are you'll see that I'm using Fischl later in the video I'm going to talk about how you're going to want a bow and arrow character to cripple the Ruin Drake which is a opponent in a later act and you cripple him by shooting the arrow at his joints they're glowing circles connecting his wings to his body. And if you don't have a built bow and arrow character, I would suggest simply using the trial character official and saving her till then, instead of using her now as I am. So yeah, sorry about that. Just a brief intermission, and right about now you're going to hear me get back to my original recording. Which I'm super pumped about. It, things have been crazy on YouTube lately. We got the CSAC and YouTube like deal being renounced and whatever, and a big chunk of my videos got blocked in my own country, which kind of blows. But it's all right. We're still we're still out here thugging it out with some Genshin Impact. It's Imaginarium Theater. Today we got an Imaginarium Theater that is sporting mainly Pyro, Geo, and Electro characters, which that's all you needed to say because those are my big three right there. Other than Hydro, those three are by far the elements that I have built the best. So um, I'm just super pumped. This was a lot easier than the last Imaginarium Theater, the one that had Dendro instead of Geo in this rotation. So thank goodness for that. It was kind of a breeze. We were on visionary mode, which means it had 10 acts, which we just stormed through. And yeah, this is my first gameplay on this channel with a C4, I think it is, or C3. No, C4, Raiden Shogun. C4, Kujo Sara. And let's see, no Kazuha, Shavrus is C6, Toma's C6, and Bennett C6. We had kind of a, we had a good time pulling for C6, Kujo Sara, and we got the Engulfing Lightning. So if you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out, because it's pretty fun. We did a face cam, we did a mini drinking challenge. It's just overall a pretty fun video, so if you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it below. Feel free to go check it out. So a couple tips that helped me do very well in this Imaginarium Theater that I want to impart on the audience is... A, kind of pace yourself. I always I always advise this. Either get your worst characters out of the way right away, or sneak one kind of low, like poorly built character into teams that have three really good built characters on them that don't need that fourth slot. So you can just kind of get the bad characters up out of the way and save your really good ones for when you need them. I would also save a, a Claymore user or your Geo characters for later on because two of the opponents you face later on have Geo shields one of them being the Geo Centaur Knight dude that has the Geo shield you gotta shred and the other one is that little disc from Fontaine that lets you jump up in the air really high and plunge down so that one isn't the end of the world I would recommend saving a shield for that boss fight because once you break his shield he starts doing that geo pulse throughout the ground, shakes the ground, and does a lot of damage to your characters. And yeah, so I would just save either a shield or geo for him. He's like a little circular boss from Fontaine. I'm sure everybody knows who I'm talking about. Just save a shield for him, and then maybe something that can shred that geo shield of his very quickly, and then the geo shield for the centaur boss. I sped this part up because my strat for this, and this is a good strat going forward for you guys too. If you are having troubles clearing this Imaginarium Theater, always choose the Protect the Monolith challenge that has the Ruin, uh, what are these guys called? 
They're like ruin guards or something. You know what I'm talking about, the big lanky wooden robot guys. Pick them because they are very easy to distract from the monolith, and they pretty much focus on you, never the monolith, so you can very easily just bide your time with a horrible team. I literally loaded up my most poorly built characters and just used them all against that uh, those ruined guards. You can see that I did very, very little damage against him, but it didn't matter because I was just able to stall and run the clock. I think I only beat one, maybe maybe two, I think it was one and almost two, but it's only one of them at a time, so it is just so, so easy to uh, clear that act whenever you're protecting the monolith. So just keep that in mind. I also sped this part up because it was a very, very repetitive uh, act. I always dislike the acts where you have to defeat a certain amount of opponents more than the bare minimum to get the star like this one so like to pass the act I just have to get seven opponents defeated but to get the star I have to get nine out of nine those ones are just nothing too bad about them they're just probably my least favorite I find them the least fun out of all of the Imaginarium Theater act challenges so yeah, we're slowly assembling our Infinity Stones here, building our really good teams for the last six acts. Right here is the Centaur I was talking to you about. Probably one of my favorite bosses they've added to Genshin Impact. I think he's super fun and super, super cool. Probably the coolest character design I've seen out of any opponent on Genshin Impact, on Tavat as they call the Genshin Impact world gonna be a decent amount of uploads coming up. If you are into COD, boy do I have some good news for you. I have just started editing Duality 3. Me, Q-Tip Games, are also called Q-Dog now with his new channel. E-Raider, Ludacris Leb, and our friend Mr. Gucci Kennedy are assembling a Team Taj on Call of Duty of our best sniping clips from the Call of Duty tour we started at the beginning of 2024. So we're very excited to make such a high quality banger Call of Duty montage. And so I'm going to release a couple teaser montages leading up to that just to kind of build some, some hype for it and to use all of the extra clips that did not make the cut because they're still super good clips that I was very proud of and happy to have hit, but they won't make it in Duality 3 because the quality is just going to be that high. I'll obviously make a quick scoping for Christ video in addition to these trailers, and I'm hoping to have the uh, I'm hoping to have Duality 3 out by October 18th at the latest. So we're going to be getting pretty busy here. I'm going to be doing absolutely nothing but editing, working out, eating and sleeping. I'm not even going to be shitting. We are just going to be so locked in here. I'm just kidding. Don't ever go uh don't not shit, because I'm pretty sure that's bad for your colon health. Uh, that was completely a joke. Uh, I forgot to mention earlier that you're also going to want to save a bow and arrow character. Just to disable these ruined dragons a lot quicker. The the drakes, as they, as they call it. OVO, Drizzy, BBL Drizzy, Puff Daddy. The ruined drakes. So just make sure you have... Saved up a little bow and arrow character. Uh, I'm pretty sure Yolan is... Yolan is definitely one you can use. Yolan's the one I used. I don't know if they give you a free one. Let me go back and check. So yeah, they give you official trial character. She uses a bow and arrow. If you have her still, which would be ideal if you don't have any other bow and arrow characters, you could use her against those ruined drakes and then shoot out the little joints on their wings, the glowing circular ones. It'll cripple him, and he will fall. Kind of cool that they give these trial characters. I finally built my Dea to the point where she's better than the trial character now, so I'm super excited. I love, I've love. i been loving using Dea. I think she has a really fun kit. She got hated on a lot, but I think she's different and a unique character, and that'll do it for me. I really love the, uh, the concept of Imaginarium Theater now. At first I was really irritated because I had spent so long constructing teams 
for the Spiral Abyss. I I would have rather had a third floor on the Spiral Abyss or a third chamber or no, a third half. So divide the floors into thirds. That's what I'm saying, or the chambers into thirds. That's where uh, uh, that's what I had in mind. I would have rather had that than the Imaginarium Theater concept initially, but I love, love, love being able to build new characters now. So I think it's a pretty cool concept. Like, it's something that motivates me to keep leveling up characters to 70 that I previously wouldn't have thought of building. And this one was Amber. The last, uh, last Imaginarium Theater, it was Barbara and... Gosh, who's that other guy? Uh, Nave. I think that's his name, man. Nave. And Amber's one that I've kind of been wanting to build for a long time, just for the meme. So we're actually going to try to get a pretty good Amber build. Probably like a sub-DPS one, but, or like a, we're going to try to give her a kit that really focuses on buffing, I think. By the way, I sped up the end of that last clip because I completed the challenge and I was just pretty much running the clock after that. I didn't want it to get redundant for the viewers. You can also, trust me, I won't be offended if you speed up this gameplay just to see how I killed these bosses. You don't have to hear, you don't have to listen to me ramble if you don't want to, but if you enjoy it, God bless you, love you so much. This is the final act. It is against the Tomb Guard of the Desert King, and it helps to have an Electro character, or Electro unit of some kind against this one. Because once you defeat the little added uh, summons this dude whips out, if you destroy those, you just have to electrocute those green monoliths, and it will paralyze that boss for a little bit. So, good to have an Electro unit against him. The Triangle Dorito dude. And I also left the credits in, just for authenticity's sake. I always like to do that, just for people who like to watch the credits. But I speed it up, because... I don't care that much, so I imagine a chunk of my viewers also wouldn't care that much. Yeah, after this we'll be getting into the team builds. Can run through those a little bit here. I really hope I can get C6 Kujo Sara before Raiden's banner is up. I swear, Kujo Sara is the most elusive 4 star ever. Remember with Chiori, she has the Harbinger of Dawn, so she has extra crit rate than was just displayed right there. Running the, um, what was that thing called? The Golden Troop on her. Get a little off-field damage. Just a little bit of extra help for Ito. It's doing a little extra damage. But I love my Geo team. I don't understand how people say that uh, Arataki Ito is underappreciated or that Geo sucks. I think it's probably my second best team right behind Hu Tao. And I don't know if that's because... I've been blessed with really good artifacts and weapons for my Geo characters, or what. But Geo has not let me down thus far. I think it's honestly in some ways better than my Raiden Hyper Carry team. Hu Tao, we swapped out EM for HP. D Luke, we swapped out EM for attack. Just because we weren't going to be using as many vaporized reactions in this Imaginarium Theater simply because uh, we don't have Hydro, except for Yulon, only one Hydro. So it would have been a waste to load up on EM. Supercharge or whatever the overload, the Pyro Electro reaction is probably my least favorite. And I don't think it works quite as well without Chevreus. So there's just, I don't know, I don't, I don't really care. Zhongli, pretty prototypical build. Keking, I was super happy to use Keking in a Imaginarium Theater. I am going to try to use her in a Spiral Abyss because I built her. Super happy to have built her. And then just forgot I had her built for the longest time. So yeah, probably do a Hyper Bloom or Aggravate team with Keking in the Spiral Abyss in the foreseeable future. You saw my tenacity in the middle of Dea. Here is Goro. Just a awesome little dog guy buffing Ito. Gotta love it. Ningguan, or however you pronounce her name, Ningguang. She, uh, 
We actually got to use her. We didn't have to, looking back at it. But I put uh, that Tomb of Eternal Flow on her. Uh, what's that dude's name? Novalette's weapon. And just kind of made her a nice damage build. And I think it did pretty well. Uh, but I just, you know, I have a full Geo team. Don't really need her anymore. Here is the C4 Kujo Sara. My goodness, if only she was C6, we could get that crit damage buff for Raiden. But our Raiden's looking pretty good with uh, Engulfing Lightning. Can't complain too much. We got the Golden Troop Fischl. So even though her substats aren't as good, I think ultimately she's doing a little more damage simply because of the Golden Troops buff. It's a great set for her. Get that off-field damage up. But yeah, here's our Beto build. I didn't realize that I had her artifacts kind of mismatched, so she has definitely way less crit rate than she's supposed to. But, you know, we did it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I absolutely love Genshin Impact. It is my favorite video game of all time. You're literally just gambling with anime characters in this beautiful open world. And I'm just so grateful that I have an audience or a, there's a community that, you know, loves Genshin as much as I do and even takes the time to watch my videos. So thank you so much for watching. I hope your Imaginarium Theater runs go splendidly. I hope that on your polling for Kanich or Raiden, those go excellently. And I hope you have better luck than I do as far as getting Kujo Sara goes. So yeah, I love you guys so much. God bless you. Peace out. I will see you next time.